T minus 90 seconds. T-minus one minute and counting, and everything is still looking good for launch of Shuttle Endeavour from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And we are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Endeavour is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in about 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 13 seconds. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, continuing the union of U.S. and Russian space endeavors. Booster Endeavour roll program. Roger, roll Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavour is now in a heads down, wings level position, headed to a rendezvous with the Mir space station. Endeavour now traveling at about 520 miles per hour. Endeavour's engines are now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust. Endeavour is now passing through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 2.3 miles, traveling at a speed of just about 870 miles per hour. Houston, go with throttle up. Roger, go with throttle up. One minute, 19 seconds into the flight. Endeavour's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Endeavour downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, a distance of about 10 and a half miles, traveling at the speed of about 2,000 miles per hour. Just about seven minutes of powered flight remaining. Two minutes, nine seconds into the flight, the booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. Endeavour now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of about 38 miles. Houston, performance nominal. Copy, performance nominal. Endeavour Houston, two-engine tau. Uh, copy, Susan, two-engine tau. Two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's performance has been as expected, and in the event of a single engine failure, Endeavour could now reach the transatlantic landing site at Zaragoza, Spain.